Hello good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So in this presentation we are going to answer this question right here. So this is a question that was brought in mathematics paper 2 for external candidates for 2023. So this was on question 8b. The question reads four towns A, B, C and D are on the surface of the earth. Take pi to be 3.142 and the, the radius of the earth to be 34, 37 newton miles. Question 1. Sketch the surface of the earth showing all the four towns A, B, C, and D. So this question was just carrying two marks. They want us to, to sketch the surface of the earth that will be showing all these four towns. So how can we answer this question? So to answer this question, we are going to sketch the we are going to sketch the surface of the earth of which we need to represent our answer using a diagram form so to answer question one we are going to sketch like this okay so to we'll sketch the model of the earth like this then from here we are going to need to come up with uh, this longitude right here another one right here then you need to come up with the, uh, the latitude okay then we also come up with the, another latitude down there okay so here we have been given four points so point a is on the latitude 70 degrees north and on longitude d 65 degrees west so the longitude is this one. This will be longitude D, 65 degrees west. Then the latitude will be this one. So the 70 degrees will be right here, 70 degrees north. So our point A will be right here. Okay. Then point B, it's on 70 degrees north. This is the latitude and 65 degrees east. So point A and B, they are sharing the same latitude. So this means that point B is going to be placed right here. Then what is the longitude of point B? 65 degrees east. So the longitude for this point B will be right here, which is 65 degrees east. Okay. Then we come to point C. So point C is on e, latitude 70 degrees south. And the longitude 65 degrees east. So point C, since it's on this longitude, so this point C will be here. The latitude is 70 degrees south. So this one need to have north and the south. Okay. Then uh, apart from this, what else? We now come to our point D right here. So point D is also lying on latitude 70 degrees south and longitude 65 degrees west. So longitude 65 degrees west is this uh, longitude. So uh, point C and D, they are sharing the same what, uh, latitude. So point D will be right here. Okay. So these are the points. So this is the sketch that they wanted us to come up with. So we have answered our question here. Uh, Roman numeral one here. So let us now answer our Roman numeral two. So our question Roman numeral two reads: Calculate in newton miles the distance AB along latitude seventy degrees north. So they want us to find the distance along latitude D seventy degrees north. So this is the distance. So this does uh, distance is between point A and D. So, how do you find the distance along the line of what? Uh, latitude. So, to find the distance along the line of latitude, this is what we are going to do. So, since uh, we have been told that the radius of the earth is in newton miles, which is 33, uh, 34, 37. Okay? So, there are two possible formulas that you can use if the radius of the earth is in newton miles to find the distance along the line of what? Latitude. So we are answering for question two. So we use our first method where we say distance 
of AB along the line of latitude is equal to theta times kiste times cos x. So here we need to know what the theta is. So theta is the difference in latitude in longitude between point A and B. So point A is lying on this longitude, which is a 65 degrees west. And point B is lying on this longitude, which is a 65 degrees east. So you can see that point A and B, they are lying on different hemispheres. This one was in on the east, this one on the west. So we need to add, well, just say 65 plus 65. So 5 plus 5 is a 10. 6 plus 6 uh, 12 plus that 130. So here the theta will be 130 degrees. So where there is theta, we are going to put 130 degrees times skiste times cos. So remember this x x is uh, represents uh, an angle in the latitude between point A and B. So what is the angle in latitude for A and B? So A and B, they are sharing the same latitude, which is 70 degrees. So where there is theta, we are going to put a 70. So here, we are going to just punch on our calculator, where we will say 130 times uh, 60 times uh, cos 70. So you also need to punch this on your calculator so that we get the same what value so 130 times as uh, 60 times cos 70 this will give us something like this uh 2667 0.75711941022 so remember, if the degree of accuracy is not specified in the question, leave your answer correct to three significant what figures. So our answer, will write it like this. We'll say two, six. This six will make it three. Now it will be rounded off by seven because seven is greater than e, five. So this six will tend to be a seven. So what was the radius of the earth in Newtko mouse? So this is our answer. Okay. So if you want to find the distance of AB, you can also use a different uh, formula uh, of which the answer will still be the same. So this different formula, you can say distance is equal to, to say theta over 360 times 2 pi r for C x. So here the theta again is the difference in uh, longitudes between point A and B then this R is the radius of the earth, pi you have been given which is 3.14 to then X is the angle in latitude for point A and B so you can try to substitute for this one and write your answer correct to three significant figures you find that the answer will be the same so we have answered our question uh, 2A so let us now move on to our question B. So this is our question B right here. Calculate in Newton commands the distance BC along longitude 65 degrees east. So they want us to find the distance uh, BC. So where is the B? The B is right here. The C is right here. So the distance that they want us to, to calculate for is for this distance. Okay. From B to C. So how can you find the distance along the line of what? Longitude along the line of what? Uh, longitude. So how do we find the distance along the line of longitude? So this one, remember, I've said because the radius of the earth is in uh, Newton mouse. So you can use two formulas. So we can say distance of BC is equal to theta times the skist. So the theta is the difference in what? in latitudes because b and c they are sharing the same longitude which is 65 so b is on latitude 70 degrees north and c is on latitude 70 degrees south so because these are on different hemispheres we are going to add you we'll say 70 plus 70 degrees 
and this will give us 140 degrees. This will be the value of what? Of theta. So where there is theta, we are going to put 140 degrees times our skist. Then from here, when we do the, the multiplication, so remember, you also need to punch on the calculator so that you also get the same values because I might make a mistake as I'm punching. So when you multiply 140 times Kisti, this will give us 8,400. Okay? Newt mouse. So this is our answer or this is the distance for line BC. Now, if you don't want to use this formula, remember I'm saying this formula is only applicable if the radius of the earth is in newt mouse. Okay? If you don't want to use this formula, whether the radius of the earth is in newt mouse or in radius, you can use the normal formula of which it will give you the same what answer. So let's see this normal formula that you can use to normally say distance is equal to uh, theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So this is the distance along the line of longitude. So we are going to say distance is equal to the theta we have said is the difference in latitudes of which we have answered that is a 140. So where there is theta, we'll put a 140 over uh, 360 degrees times 2 times pi. We have been given is 3.142 times the radius of the earth is in e, Newton comma which is 3437. So I just want to see. If I told the answer will be the same. So from there you say distance is equal to. So we just need to punch on our calculator. Where we say 140 divided by 360. Okay. Then times 2 times 3.142 times 34, 37. Okay. So we are getting something like this. So I hope uh, this is the same value that you have gotten. 83. We are getting 8399.264222. So these are just the twos. Now remember here we uh, our answer is in two significant figures so even this one this one so even this one we leave it in two we have eight this three will be rounded off by a nine to be a four so this one will be a zero and this one a zero neutral mouse so you can see that uh, the answers are the same okay so this is how we can answer this question so we've come to the end of our presentation Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.